Okay, good morning. This is our second edition of Current Events, and today's topic is going to be uh, the passing of and a celebration of Chadwick Boseman. Um, for those of you all who have seen Black Panther uh, or any of his other movies, you see him as a talented actor, um, but I, I would encourage you to um, go a little bit more depth into um, his... Hold on, I'm going to relax for a second. <laughs> his... Um, the importance of his roles, Jackie Robinson, Thurgood Marshall, Black Panther. Um, those are all roles that, in movies, quite frankly, that needed to be made. Um, they, were, uh, they were roles that uh, would tell a story that, uh, about, well, Jackie Robinson, about Thurgood Marshall, and about Black Panther. Um, I will be 110% honest and transparent. I have seen Black Panther and I have seen uh, Defy Bloods on Netflix, which I highly recommend you check out as well. Um, great movie. Uh, a lot of conversations that need to be had in that movie. Um, so for me, uh, one reason I enjoyed Black Panther so much was the message that the movie sent. Um, in watching it, I would encourage you to ask, uh, do a little self-assessment. Ask yourself, are you more of a T'Challa? Chadwick Boseman, or are you more of a Killmonger, Eric Killmonger, uh, the villain, uh, played by Michael B. Jordan? Um, they both have different, their conflict comes with different views on how Wakanda's resources should be used. Um, Black Panther, or T'Challa, wants to uh, keep, uh, you know, use the vibranium for the good of the world. He wants to share those resources, he eventually wants to share those resources with the rest of the world and make it a better place. Whereas Eric Killmonger, um, angry about uh, the way uh, his people, he alludes to slavery. He never flat out says slavery, but there he alludes to it a lot in, uh, in his lines. Um, he's angry about the way African people have been treated throughout world history. And he wants to use the vibranium basically to take over the world. And that's where their, uh, that's where their conflict is. So watch that movie and do a little self-assessment. Are you more of a T'Challa or more of an Eric Killmonger? Um, the movie sends the message of fighting doesn't have to always be the first option. Fighting doesn't always have to be the first option. Um, and you get the feeling that Chadwick Boseman, uh, as, uh, he was very elegant, uh, very well put together. Um, uh, you get the feeling that he was, um, uh, you get the feeling he was born for that role. Um, so, uh, his passing is sad. Uh, he knew how important his roles were. I mean, there's evidence of that. Uh, he performed a lot of, in a lot of those movies with cancer, you know, a lot of the time stage four cancer. Um, so, uh, for him to pull that off, uh, just shows how important he knew his roles were. Uh, when you're talking about Black Panther, it's in a lot of ways, it's kind of like Wonder Woman. Because of Black Panther, now when you think of a superhero, in your mind, when you're drawing one up on a uh, uh, on, on an art class, you are, or an English class, I guess, um, because of Black Panther now, you don't automatically think uh, all superheroes are white. Kind of like with Wonder Woman, you, now you all of a sudden don't think that uh, all superheroes are female, or are, are, are male. I'm sorry. You know, Wonder, Black Panther and Wonder Woman both made. Um, us open our minds up about what we envision when we see a superhero. So, um, sad day indeed. Um, uh, but uh, I think you know the message that Black Panther sends is it, it, that's it's timeless. It's timeless. It'll never it, you'll never watch that movie and believe that it hasn't aged well. It will always be a classic. So. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. Um, I'll be, I'm making it a priority to watch uh, 42 and Thurgood, and Thurgood, at least those two, um, so we can gain a, a better appreciation of what Chadwick Boseman was as an actor. But uh, he was more than that. So um, feel free to uh, comment or message me with any questions you might have. Tell me your favorite part of Black Panther, maybe why you liked it so much and why it's such an important movie. So, all right, that's it for current events today. We'll have another edition probably about Wednesday. All right, today's an A-Day. We'll see you guys. Oh, yeah. Wakanda forever.